Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. And today, we are going to actually fight the gym and hopefully beat it today. I think it's a weekend video, so I don't mind it going a little bit longer than normal if it ends up taking that long. So I think I've come to terms with something. So here's what's going to happen, is that Nux needs to be powerful to take on this gym. Him and Kid Fisto should be able to take it down pretty easy, because I forgot bugs don't hurt Kid Fisto. So that'll be fine, but then for the rival, we're going to have to train up our boy Mouse. Because Mouse is going to be the one to lead us to victory. Because I completely forgot he had a move. I'm just going to put this in order of um, current power level. So that's the current plan. Let's go into this gym. Let's fight this little girl. Hi, Amy. No way. Yeah, I'm challenging the gym leader. What of it? And of course, if you're enjoying the Pokemon Nuzlocke, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know who's subscribing to me only for the Nuzlocke. <laughs> that feels silly. But if you are, hey, show your support. I'm sure some people would consider this the best thing I do. Um, more so than anything else. I'm telling you right now, if you like Pokemon Silver and you like Nuzlocke's, I'm really feeding to your demographic right now. Uh, with daily videos, that is. Hello, twins. Lediba! Look at this dumb little bug. Look at him. Die in the fire. Burn with me. No, really. Lediba not dead. Okay. Very surprised, actually. And burn. How funny is it gonna be after, like, getting scared for Scyther? Um... Turns out it's no problem whatsoever. Can all my computers... I had to... So, by the way, uh, I'll get into it right here, I think. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, Nux is evolving, so I'm not going to talk over his evolution. But he's going to turn into... Nux, by the way, has a problem with Cyndaquil and his evolutionary lines. And I'm just going to say right now, I'm not going to appreciate it. Look at this bitch-ass weasel monster as he's Quilava. What's cooler than Quilava? Look how he freaking looks. Now I'll grant you, this the jump to 3D was not kind. But right now, as far as I'm concerned, there's only two cool starters in Gen 2. It is Totodile and it is Cyndaquil, and then someone added a Chikorita. Let's go in here. Not to say Chikorita ain't cute, but he ain't cool. That's for sure. And what's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. Anyway, um... Back to what I was saying, so because of this is on an emulator and stuff, um, for some reason, so I, maybe it's just because the emulator I'm using, but if I don't control my controller that I'm using to play Pokemon with first, Jesus Christ, Nux, um, then what happens is that, uh, for, like, for some reason it won't accept the fact that it comes later, so I basically have to plug in my controller and then open the emulator. I do that, I forgot to plug in my controller, I open the emulator, go, oh, well, if I close it, I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. No. It automatically is synced to the keyboard, and now nothing I do will make it unsync unless I completely reboot the computer. So that noise you heard where everything was everything I had coming back online, uh, because I, I had to do a complete reboot. Both Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. Now here's the thing, am I about to beat this gym leader so easily that it's not even going to take me... It's not even going to take a full 10 minutes? Hello, Weedle. Go, Nux. Kick his ass. Yeah, Nux is... Nux is strong, for sure. He can take down this Weedle pretty easily. Oh, boy. Jesus Christ, Nux. He's gone on a pure rampage. Which was also, by the way, always what was going to happen the second he learned Ember. The second he learned Ember, he opened up shop. He's beating the cousins of Jotaro right now. Apologies to Jotaro. There goes fucking Geo. Geo the Kakuna goes down in one hit. Though I'm pretty sure Geo is not his cousin. It's his uncle? Something like that. Anyway, <laughs> here's a B drill. It's going to get shit rocked as well. Oh, it's not. Huh. That's good to know. So, unless it's a crit, it seems at least early on you can't die from a super effective move if you're like Jotaro over here at final evolutionary stage. So here's the thing is that I think 
I have a backup plan, which is basically is that... Um, so in order to beat the rival, Mouse gets super strong. I'm going to teach him Mud Slap. And then I'm also going to hit... Um, hit Croconaw so hard that he can't even recognize what's going on. So first of all, I'm going to switch now. I'm going to go Mouse because Mouse needs some leveling. Alright, exit. Go in here. You saved all the Slowpoke? Woo, you're mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough too. Does that mean you're going to have, like, Butterfree and, um, Beedrill? Because if so, that's kind of a problem. Paris? That's your grown man Pokemon? Paris? Paris can't even control what he's doing. Paris is, like, in con uncontrol of his life. And also Mouse, even though he has not been fighting for so many years, comes back with a freaking quick, quick attack. Hit him up hard. So anyway, what I was saying is, is that... Playing on emulators, man, they can be so stupid sometimes. Wow, that did a lot of damage. That did a lot of damage, not gonna lie. Way more damage than I thought. It's almost making me want to, like, not go forward with the mouse plan. But you know what? We're gonna do it. Now, I am going to check on my boy mouse to make sure he is not dying. Okay, he's not. He'll live long enough. Now it is funny that I am going back to the... Oh please mouse, please be. I don't know why I went to exit. You never go to exit. You just press B. I'm done done. Alright, there we go. Okay, so now it's time for Nux to completely wreck shop this gym. Now, there is the smallest chance that Nux loses and Nux dies. And by a small chance, I mean if I saw for some reason um, Fury Cutter is allowed to go crazy, he's gonna die. Uh, let's see here. Do I have anything like. Okay, I do have X Defend. Hmm. Alright, gonna exit. Go here. Go down here. Then we're gonna fight. We're gonna go up here. I'm gonna go take down this, uh, this little bug lady here. Or is it a bug dude? I'm never 100% sure. I forgot to switch out mouse. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Not good. Not good at all. Not, <laughs> not great. <laughs> what I've just done is very stupid. It's. Fuck. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is good. What? Why is Kid Fisto in the front? How did... Kid Fisto, why are you here? Well... Also, based off everyone's feedback, I will be evolving Kid Fisto. Oh, you go to Yana Do. You can, uh... Does Rock Pro even hurt bugs? Jesus Christ. It apparently does. So here's what's gonna happen. Oh, am I about to just completely one-shot um, Scyther because he's bug flying? Am I an idiot and I've been uh, not needing to train tr Nux this entire time? Has it been that all along I should have just been trusting in my Fisto? My Kit Fisto? Let's find out, huh? There he is. <laughs> Look at this fucking... The, the stance. This is the stance of Scyther right there. Fury Cutter. Okay. And Insta Death. <laughs> I was worried for no fucking reason at all. It also ducks completely the gun. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love you so much, Kid Fisto. You have no idea how much I love you. I'm gonna switch you out because now. It will Mouse needs training. Wow, Nux straight up got the spotlight stolen from him. Please don't kill. Okay. Why? Oh, okay. You know what? Get this, though. Get back in here. All Mouse needs is the EXP, and if he's going to be poisoned, I don't want him to slowly die. So here's what's going to happen. Oh, I see. Very interesting tactic. May I introduce you to Magnitude? Please get a Magnitude 10. 
let your first one be a 10. Seven, not bad. And... Oh no, I thought that was gonna insta-kill. Let's throw a rock at you, huh? You've made me angry. You've poisoned my boy mouse. And now you're dead. Just like that. That easy. Wow. Kid Fisto really stole the show. And Mouse now knows Hyper Fang, which is very good. Huh. Hmm. I am an expert in Pokemon. Thank you very much. Take this badge. So. I got the Hive badge. Hive Mind. That was... That was so easy. Was I just an idiot as a kid? Also, I just realized that I think all... Every... If Kid Fisto lasts all the way till the third gym, he's basically my go-to for every single gym. I Actually, now that I think about it, no gym can stop Kid Fisto until... Uh, nowhere. Because no gym can stop Kid Fisto because there's no water gym or grass gym coming up at all. Huh. Huh. Alright then. I'm gonna go heal up my poison boys. And I think girls. Actually, is Mouse a boy or a girl? I, I, want, I do want to get their genders correct. It's always important to be considerate to what they are. Males. Alright. Because it's a penis shape. Now I understand. Solrock is a woman. Jotaro is a woman. Should've called you Jolene. Jake is a man. Okay. Alright, let's get back into it. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna heal you up. And I'm gonna say that's it for today's episode. In all honesty, that's kind of it. Next episode's gonna probably gonna be... Actually, you know what? Should I keep it going? Should I keep it going? Because I kind of need to train Mouse. I really need to train Mouse. But... I'm also super busy tomorrow. So you know what? Forget it. That's the end of today's episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. Throw your Fistos in the air because it turns out Kid Fisto is just too goddamn strong for anything. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good day. I got a fastball, by the way.